Um, we feel like as a squad we're in a really good place. We've um, obviously had a few really good wins and, and a few obviously days to kind of really focus on the Aussies and, and what we're going to face tomorrow. And um, I think we've practiced really well. And, and obviously it's the, the big match, isn't it? I, I know um, it's the match that we've been looking forward to and one we've wanted to play for a while. So um, yeah, it's exciting. We're feeling in a good place. Um, but um, obviously, yeah, tomorrow's a new day. Uh, well, we've played against the Aussies a lot, obviously, with the, the Big Bash and the Kia Super League. A lot of the girls have um, played with and against a lot of the Aussie teams. So, um, yeah, we, we know their players very well, as, as they know us very well as well. But um, I guess what's worked so well for us is is focusing on what, what we do and, and really sort of practising what we're going to come up against and, and make sure we nail our skills in practice. And, and that's what we've done the last two days. Well, it's a fresh wicket, which, I mean, Gloucestershire has been outstanding um, in terms of the wickets that they produced so far. We had, obviously, the wicket the other day, was, which was brilliant for the game, and that's the, the biggest thing I wanted for this competition with some of the outstanding players there is in the world nowadays with the ability to hit the ball and, and manipulate the ball like they can. They need the surfaces to do their skills justice, and the wicket the other day certainly did that, and, and it's a fresh wicket, and the groundsman's done us proud by producing one for us. So we, as we keep saying, we need to play tough and big games to keep moving forward. So tomorrow will just be a great testament to see how far we've come. We're playing the, you know, we're playing the world, world's best. You know, South Australia, an outstanding team. They've done really well over the last few years. The favourites for the competition. So we've got a great opportunity to see how far we've come. Win or lose, we, we'll have a, a yardstick to see where, exactly where we are at the moment. It's the, the big games that we've really sort of been preparing for, and, and a lot of the work we've done. With the players and, and with the staff is is towards those big games and, and sort of standing up and, and putting in big performances and uh, as you said earlier the team's in a really good place at the moment and I think tomorrow will be a really good test of where we're at and um, yeah I think we'll we'll go out and, and hopefully play the type of cricket we have and um, there's always going to be that added pressure the, the sort of old enemy but hopefully we can sort of as a group of players rise to that and put in a really strong performance. We've got a lot more depth than than previously I mean we we've got to have a chat about tomorrow's team it's hard to pick. Um, we've got people playing well off the pitch as well. I haven't really had a, had a, the opportunity to, to showcase what they've got. When I came into the into the role, the biggest thing that hit me was the enormous ceiling to grow for all the players. As I say, the captain's 26 or 25 when I came in. The best years of a lot of this group is in front of them, and that's so exciting. So, as I say, tomorrow it's England Australia sugar there's going to be pressure and there's going to be excitement and going to be nerves but it's you know we, we came in not as a favourites so for us it's just a great opportunity to see what part of the journey we're on so far and how far we've got to go